welcome back and thank you for joining me for another video. Um, before we get started, I'm going to show you guys a few things really quick. So this is one of two pieces of um, a commission that is now completed and now has resin on it. I will show you this one. So I'm very pleased with this piece and I wish I could show it to you out in the sun, but it's just not happening because A, we have some dark, gloomy, rainy, cold, snowy days. And it's look at the reflection. You can see everything on my table. This is the challenge with resin. The challenge with resin is there's such a reflection. It's very hard to photograph resin pieces, but you get the idea. Let me see back here. <laughs> look at so much glare. Anywho, um, so I'm very happy and very, very um, pleased with how this turned out. And my client is super, super happy as well. So that will be shipped off um, very soon within the next uh, couple of days, week, maybe, hopefully. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you, the sea glass uh, diptych I did is now dry. So I wanted to show it to you guys. So there it is. I think there's still one tiny wet spot. This thing is taking forever to dry. Um, this is the longest it's it's I can't believe it's not dry yet, but um, I was talking with Tammy my good friend Tammy Anderson if you don't know who Tammy Anderson is um, She's actually another YouTube artist um, Super super awesome awesome lady. I love her to death and uh, So we we were talking check out Ch Tammy's YouTube channel by the way I'll link her information do do up at the top for those of you who don't know who Tammy is Check her out, subscribe to her channel. Um, she is uh, awesome and a hoot. But anywho, so I was talking to Tammy about the sea glass. Tammy went and bought the sea glass color because she wanted to see if she was gonna have the same issue as me with the sea glass because she bought Art Mines and she did two, maybe three, um, I think two Dutch pours, but using a different color. She did one with... Um, antique aqua and then another one was like a purpley kind of color and this did not happen to her so she was wondering is it something i was doing or maybe it was the actual sea glass color so she went out bought the sea glass and did a dutch pour i'm going to link her video to that up here at the top i'll also try and remember to put it down in the description so she did a dutch pour and used my ratios flow trawl water and the sea glass and guess what happened? She got the cells. Not as much as I did, but she definitely got the cells. So then it dawned on us two things. A, it's something obviously with this color in particular. And B, the Art Minds paints are a gloss paint. And you know, I sat there looking at it, staring at me right in the face. It's a gloss paint. So that's why these are actually drying with a gloss on them. There's actually a gloss on the paint on the on the surface here. So um, what do you what do you do? <laughs> so I'm still going to use art mines. Um, I have a ton of bottles of them of jars um, that my awesome mother got for me. Um, I'm still going to use them in my pores in my squeeze bottles. Um, but I'm not sure I'm going to use it as a base, um, base color. So, but I'm definitely still going to use them. It, it won't matter if you use one or two colors in six colors. To do Sorry guys, my husband called me, he's at Lowe's, and when he calls in the middle of a video, it stops my video recording. So thank goodness I wasn't in the middle of the actual pour. I try to remember to put my phone on airplane mode so that calls don't go through but I didn't think he was going to call me so he's at Lowe's picking out lights because we have my brother coming up this weekend um to do all the finish off the electrical so we need um outside lights but anywho um I don't remember what I was saying but I, I, I the paint has gloss in it so and it is drying with a gloss I'm not sure if you can see that can you see that in any event this I know some people this isn't everybody's cup of tea um, but there are a lot of people who did like it a lot. So if, if you're interested, these are still available. 
They are nine by 12 inch each canvas and they are available. I'm gonna put a beautiful coat of crystal resin on them. And if you're interested in this, please shoot me an email. I'm just gonna put them over here real quick. So if you're interested in those, um, you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. Uh, last thing I wanted to show you before we get started. Ooh. Okay, ornaments. Um, they are done. They are ready. Um, it's very hard for me to show them to you all. Uh, show them all to you, I mean. Um, but I'll show you a few of them real quick. But uh, so here they are, resined. Um, they're white on the back. I do sign them and I'm going to stamp them um, or I'm going to try uh, with wax with my initial on them. But uh, so these are the ornaments. There's the one shape. Here is the round shape. Let's see. I'm trying to get, there we go, the round shape. And then of course, let's go with this one here. The shape. So if anyone is interested in any ornaments, here's what I'm going to do. If you're interested in any ornaments, shoot me an email. Again, canalaseraco at gmail.com. Shoot me an email. I'll send you a picture of what's available. You can pick from there. I'll tell you the pricing and all that stuff. If you're interested, email me for inquiries. And like I said, I'll just send you a picture of what's available. You circle the one or ones or how many ever you want. And we'll go and do it that way. It just doesn't make sense for me. To, not everybody's on Instagram and I can't hold the whole tray up so that you can see it, you know, really well. So if you're interested, email me. And I think that's all I wanted to say for now. Um, we're going to get started on the Dutch pour for today. It is yet another commission piece. I'm trying to work on commission pieces, trying to get these out of the way before Christmas, kind of give everyone their pieces before Christmas rolls around. So um, we're working on another commission. So I'm going to, I hit, when I hit the button, and it doesn't work then I hit the button and it does work and it totally cuts me off <laughs> this isn't my night okay I am going to bring you guys down on the canvas and we will get started on today's pour be right back all right guys welcome back okay so back to the gray series kind of so my client really, really loved the video where I had used the light portrait pink and the magenta with silver, black, and white. Now the base was all gray, but she wanted to switch it up a little bit and do a split of white and gray. So what I've gone ahead, so I have a 10 by 20 and a 10 by 20 inch canvas, uh, and she wanted it done in a diagonal. So I'm just gonna pop the bubbles really quick here. Right. All right, so my paint is moving over here. It's here in the corner we're good, but it's moving a little, which is fine, because all you gotta do is just squeeze a little, like so, and see, you get your corner back. Doesn't matter anyway, because I'm putting lines there. So in the original video, uh, which I can't remember which one it was, but I will link it up here at the top. If you want to watch the original, I used um, these colors and I'll tell them to you in a second. But first, let me tell you what the base is. The base is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and the gray is the white bottle and black mixed together to make gray. So I make this gray myself. Um, I don't use tube paint. I mix some white, some black, and I get the gray. So that is there, that is here, and those are mixed. Everything is mixed with Floetrol and water. And for those of you who are new watching and you wanna know how I mix my paints, check out video number 63. I will link it up at the top. Click on that for a full tutorial on how I mix my paints. So now in that last video, I used black and white and then the colors, but because there's already a white base here, I'm going to take the white out. It doesn't make sense to add white in there when there's already white in the base. So I'm gonna put that there and we have silver anyway. So let's get started. Did I shake this first? All right, did I shake all my paints? Let me just shake them real quick. 
Oh, and I should probably tell you the colors I'm using. So again, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black, which is this bottle, but black. Okay, and then I took out the white and we've got Light Portrait Pink by uh, Liquitex Basics. Then I have Sterling Silver by Deco Art. And then finally, we have um, Quinacridone Magenta by Liquitex Basics. And just these colors alone, forget the black, but just these colors alone are super pretty. So, and I already know it's going to be a pretty piece because I've done it before, but it's going to be interesting to see how it works out with a black and white color split. I mean, black, a white and gray color split. So let's see how that's going to work out. Let's put the portrait pink. This is such a pretty color. And I'm loading it on because there's only four colors really. And this silver is kind of like gray already. So I'm just squeezing it on. And last one of my pretty colors, the Quinacridone magenta now because it is diagonally like this obviously there's going to be a lot more negative space here and down here but uh, let me tell you i went back and forth with my client i'm like you sure you want it this way not this way not that way and we came up to uh, this agreement and this is how she wanted it so this is how we're gonna do it all right colors are down and there's an echo or a doggy here, here, I swear. I And I even brought a lint roller down here so I can do my shirt. And of course I forgot what else is new. All right, so I'm going, because there's more negative space over here, I'm gonna blow it this way first. And when I come this way, I'm gonna blow it down this way. So let's get started. Uh, let's go this way. I love it. I love it. I love it. I loved her idea of a split with the white and gray. Look at the cells. It's so pretty. I'm so happy with this piece. Heather, if you're watching, which I know you are, I hope you're liking this. Oh, these colors are so pretty. And you know what? I actually really like the hint of black here and there. It really adds a contrast. Uh, along with the um, quinacridone, quinacridone magenta. It's so pretty and I'm not torching it. I'm not going to touch it. Oh, I love it. I really love it. It's so pretty. And I like, you know, you'd think blowing backwards or up higher would be more difficult for me, but I actually found blowing this side out way better um, than blowing this side out. Um, as I'm blowing, you, you can probably tell I've slowed down a little bit and I think ahead before I'm about to blow. And another thing I've been doing a lot lately, which I mentioned in some a video long, a few videos ago, but a lot of people ask me about my hair dryer. Is it on high? Is it on low? Is it on hot? Is it on cold? It is um, a Con Air, okay? It's a Con Air. I have it listed in my Amazon shop. It's a travel hair dryer. See, the handle closes. It's a travel hair dryer. I got it for 10 bucks at Walmart here in Canada. 
I put the attachment on myself. It was from an old hair dryer, but you can find the attachments uh, on Amazon. And mine looks like this. You don't want the one that's kind of oval shaped or, you know, bubbles up um, here and down here. It's completely flat. You see that? So there, I don't think I've ever shown that to you guys. That's what mine looks like. That's what I get my results with. So, and it only blows hot air. There's no cold air. So what happens is when I'm blowing now in these last couple of months, I've realized that I start up high. The last thing you want to do is be too close and blow. You know how I don't put my base paint over my colored paints. I don't do that part. I just blow right out. But what happens is if you put your hair dryer too close, odds are you'll probably grab some of this white and push it over as you're going. And if you don't want that and you want your colors to stay bold and vibrant like this, then what I do is I start up high and then if my hair dryer is not moving the paint, then I'm going to move a little closer. Last thing you want to do is start off close and it literally blasts the paint right off your canvas or it blasts it so hard that it turned everything muddy because you don't want that either. And then the other thing is you only want to do it once. So if I blew over here and I didn't like it, I'm not going to go over it again. I'm going to continue on with what I'm doing and then I'll play with that and I'll fidget with that with either a straw or my, I don't use a straw, but some of you do use a straw, use your mouth, but don't go over it a second time with the hairdryer. Don't do it. No, 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 don't do it. Okay. So that's why people are, why are my paints getting so muddy? Because you're A, blowing it too close and just pushing the paint too quickly and B, you're overblowing it. You're going over the same spot more than once. That's a big no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. So as I've been talking, look at the beautiful cells that have been appearing. This is so pretty. I love it. I'm not touching it. Uh, I'm not torching it. It's that's it. It's good. It's matching here. It's almost matching here. I guess I could blow a little bit of this out there. Let's see. Okay, that's nice. I that's it. I'm not going to touch anything. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch up my sides because I did it super super quick. You see that? I know you guys can see that. But you see even when I use my finger, it's still see-through. You can see it. So what I do is I take my squeeze bottle out here. Let me show you actually because a lot of people have been asking that too. So I take my Oh, see now I'm standing in front of the light. Sorry guys, what I do is I take my squeeze bottles. This is how I fix my sides off camera. So I take my squeeze bottle, open it, <laughs> and I squeeze a bead of paint just along the top here. And you see how it's dripping down? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your finger and you're literally just going to dab that drip of paint that's all coming down here. And just kind of help it along, get to the bottom, and look at that, it's solid now. You see that? So I'm going to continue that on all the sides, and then I will bring you guys down for a close-up. So let me work on the sides, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, it's been about 15 minutes, believe it or not. So I made sure all my edges were cleaned up as you can see so what you want to do don't forget super super important get yourself a popsicle stick use your finger um, a lot of people ask me where i get these i got these from the dollar store believe it or not uh in the section where they have like toothpicks and like coffee stir sticks and stuff like that so that's where i got that from so what you want to do is you want to scrape the drips off the bottom of your canvas. This will help prevent the drips. You see all those drips? These drips, see, that's no good. You gotta fix that. Dip your finger here in the paint and just touch the bottom. There you go, white canvas, gone. So as I was saying, what you wanna do is scrape these off because these drips 
continue to pull the paint off the top of your canvas here. It'll pull, 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 keep pulling, pulling, and drag it right off, and it'll ruin your composition. So do that all the way around. If the canvases are too close, pull them apart, scrape it, push it back together. Um, because I know in this position, my canvases are level. If I move it out here and leave it here, it may not be level. I know in this spot, it's level. So make sure you scrape the drips, then set yourself a timer, a reminder, something 15 minutes later, come back, do it again, because I guarantee you there will be more drips. Come back a third time. I know it sounds tedious, but if you want your painting to dry as close as possible to this composition or the one that you, you did, you got to do it. Come back a third time. After the third time, you should be okay. Um, but if you want to come back a fourth, hey, by all means. But the more the drips you catch and take off, the better your piece will be. Okay, so keep that in mind. So let's check this out up close. The cells here are minimal, <laughs> unlike the sea glass, which I'm really happy with this. That is super pretty right there. I love that. But look at that. Look at the portrait pink. It's so beautiful. So there you have it, uh, this diptych. And that is with the studio lights on, as you can see from the wonderful glare. So what I'm going to do is, as you know it, I'm going to turn the studio lights off and we'll check out the piece with the lights off. Be right back. All right, studio lights are off. And for some reason, my pot lights are flickering. <laughs> Sorry about that. All righty. So let's check out that shimmer. Look at that. Oh, my pot lights are flickering. That is so bizarre. Oh, this is so pretty. I cannot wait. Um, this is going to get some crystal resin. Don't forget if you want to try resin, look at how pretty. Uh, you can try it and get 5% off your order. I will link the information below and it's also in the description below. Oh, I can't get over the shimmer. This is so pretty. Look at that. It's everywhere. I love it. I really, really like this piece. Look at that. Let's see. So there you have it. You can save 5% off crystal resin using code CANELA5. Lowly Veffy discount for the, sil the silicone mats. Well, you can't see it because it's covered in paint. Uh, silicone mats, the squeeze bottles, you can save 10% um, using code CANELA10. So that's it, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you are new watching my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. That way, every time I post a new video, you will be notified. So I think that's it for now, guys. Until next time. Everything you need to know is in the description below. The colors of the paints, all the information, my PayPal link for anyone who'd like to donate to my channel. Um, Amazon links. If you want to shop on Amazon, check out the links below. Uh, I think that's it. Same old, same old, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.